standing inside of an ice box. It's like a refrigerator. And it's really cold. It's like 32 degrees, so that's why we're bundled up. Um, and Bradley is going to show me and show us um, what goes into butchering a lamb. Um, so lamb is a popular holiday meat. Typically, yes. Yeah. More popular around the holidays. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, so, you know, uh, we'd like to know where our food comes from. And uh, Bradley's going to show us a little bit about what, goes, what goes into the butchering process. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to break it down into primals, which is basically each section of the lamb broken apart. Um, shoulder, ribs, loin, hind legs, and the breast, of course. Also, you have your shanks. You can pretty much cut this whole thing with the knife. Okay. And so how long have you been doing this, Bradley? I've been cutting meat. I've been in the trade for about 10 years. I've been actually butchering for maybe eight of those 10 years. I've always cooked my whole life. Uh, my stepfather would always have me on the lid when we were barbecuing. We barbecued maybe five to six times a week. So. I was always the lid man, is what he called it. And I would lift the lid, just watch him, you know, and just be around it uh, my whole childhood. So when I got on my own, it was really something that I just kind of, you know, felt natural in barbecuing and cooking in general. I've always enjoyed it. So being a butcher kind of ties into that. And then, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Take this hanger steak out. This is a very small, steak that's only one per animal so it's kind of a special let's call we call it the butcher steak because typically it doesn't make it in the counter what i do now is i'm going to take the hind legs off so i'm just scoring the spine very good so i can uh, break the lamb in half basically like yay that's your hind legs so this would be the loin section Okay. This is where like the lamb loin chops come from. So that would be your small loin or also known as the saddle. So this is basically the front half. Uh, this is where I would typically take it to the saw. When you take it to the saw, it's a lot cleaner of a cut. So these are your shoulders. I'm going to take the fork. The four shank off. This is basically a lamb bone in shoulder. This is the lamb rack. So this will be the lamb breast or spare rib. This will be the French, uh, not French yet, but I'm going to show you how to French that in just a minute. That is about it. So what I can do is I can uh, lay it out so it's a little, makes a little more sense. Leg, got your lamb saddle. So it's basically the T-bone of the lamb. You got the New York and the filet. It's really interesting to see where it all comes it from. from. Yeah. yeah, for me, um, until I broke down a whole animal, it was it was very difficult for me to get my, my head around exactly where everything came from. Right. Um, so this would be the ribeye oh. of the lamb. Yeah. Lamb rack, lamb rib. Uh, French rack, which I'm going to show you in, in just a minute after I lay these guys out. This here, like I said, is the lamb breast. Okay. Uh, best cooked, like uh, braised or smoked, slow cooked, just like any other ribs uh, for the most part. Here we have our lamb shoulder. This is the arm chop. Okay. And then we have the blade chop. <laughs> Typically, I recommend the blade for like a, a slow cooking, a braising as where I would recommend the arm chop for like a, maybe a grilling chop. It would, it would turn out better than the shoulder blade for grilling. These are our four shanks. Also good for slow cooking, braising, anything like that. And then the neck, same thing. You can do this slow cooked. Um, usually we'll cut all the meat off of it. If there's any meat like left over on the bones or on the fat, we take it all off and we'll use, use that for sausage, of course. Um, so what I was going to do is a, a French rack for you. Um, so this is the uh, cap, fat cap. Uh, this, that's all fat? Uh, there's some meat in there, but not much. 
typically that gets pulled off. Um, you can definitely leave it on there. Some people like more fat, some people don't. It's called Frenching the ribs when you take the meat basically off the rib. So, I mean, the idea of it is you can grab it with your fingertip and just, you know, eat the meat on the end of the rib. They're, they're called lamb lollipops. Yeah, so you've probably seen this in a restaurant or in a picture. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. What's your favorite cut of meat, personally? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, so, truthfully, my favorite cuts of meat, of uh, beef, would be like beef tri-tip or top sirloin. I mean, I like all the meat. It, it really depends on just how you want to cook. And if you know how to cook it, you can make it all turn out really well, you know, so. But for the most part, that's about it for the, the lamb French rack. Thank you so much for showing us a little bit. Got of course. behind uh, Butcher Shop. And this is Butcher Shop Lamb Lollipop. Or is it Lamb Lollipop? Lamb Lollipop. 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 Lamb Lollipop.